I'm in France and I've got 60 glorious miles of Mediterranean countryside ahead of me between here and my final destination at Miraval, Goodyear's premier proving ground. It's a beautiful day and I want to enjoy myself. I want a, a croissant in a tiny cafe. I want some French coffee. And I like to savour every opportunity that one gets. And a gentleman does not rush. This is it, the Miraval Proving Ground, Goodyear's very own test facility, a venerable cathedral to tire them. This is where it's all happening, rubber tires absolutely everywhere, the mechanics working away, cars are up on jacks, this is proper engineering. This is what got me into cars and I cannot wait to get stuck in. So I've sent my friend Tom Howard, aka The Gentleman Racer, to test out these new tires. The only thing is, he seems to have a problem with timekeeping. My car, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. It's glorious Italian lines reflecting perfectly in the French countryside. But there is a slight difference today. It's wearing its best dancing shoes. The Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 3 SUV tire. Designed and tested specifically for SUVs and chosen by Alfa Romeo as original equipment, these are going to make sure that I can exploit every ounce of power and potential from the Stelvio. We've got the entire proving ground to ourselves to get stuck into some serious tyre testing. Now the differences between Tom and I, I am a bit of a nerd, he's a gentleman racer, He's into the lifestyle. I'm all about nerding out on all of this engineering and all of this tech going on. So we better hurry up so we can get stuck in. So I've just had to pull over and take a closer look at this glorious piece of architecture behind me. The sun breaking over the horizon, mountains in the distance, and this spectacular arch, crowdfunded by the townspeople of Montpellier for Louis XIV. And even the police are admiring the gorgeous views. They're taking an interest in my Stelvio, and rightly so. The other delight of Montpellier is you can pull up in one of these beautiful little side streets, park the Stelvio, waft over, to a gorgeous little table on a fantastic courtyard and enjoy une noisette, the French equivalent of an Italian macchiato. A shot of coffee topped with milk, perfect to enjoy the French lifestyle at its very best. You see, I figured it's best to leave Mike doing his thing. Careful though, he will start talking to you about SUV optimised construction technology. Goodyear have used something called SUV optimised construction technology. Yep, Mike's boring, but it's seriously cool tech, especially for a tyre. I've got a wee cross section here. There's layer upon layer of SUV specific tyre tech, and that reinforced construction is topped by a cool cushion layer. That helps handling reduces rolling resistance and therefore helps fuel efficiency. He once spoke to me about the stickiness of the grip booster technology and quite honestly I thought he might need a doctor. The next aspect of this tyre is the grip booster technology. It's an adhesive compound on the surface of the tyre that works to increase the stickiness of the tyre on the road. If this tyre can keep mums on the road while going around a sharp bend even with the kids in the back, that is engineering. And then there's active braking technology, which is these tread blocks here. Their job is to maximise braking force by increasing the amount of tyre in connection with the road, maximising friction and therefore maximising braking. That will decrease braking distance in both the wet and the dry. So it's good to know that my good years are getting on down with the business of keeping me safe and secure whilst on the road. These are definitely vineyards. I am properly deep in French wine country. This pleases me. Is that a chateau? I am rather partial to uh, the first grape of the season. You see, the Muscat grape only grows for a couple of weeks a year, and I've found some, so I'm going to take some of these with me and uh, see what else they've got here. Not est e e e à la dérive. This chateau has been in the family for 300 years, for 10 generations. It's got stunning gardens and a vineyard. The problem is, he's a gentleman racer and he's not great at timekeeping. So, while we're waiting, I'll tell the guys what's going on. Right, guys, guys, hey, moi, me, Tom Howard. 
chevalier et chantiste de passage a perdu son cossier et est la dérivée. Not for now, but obviously I'm driving, so maybe some for later. This is a too good opportunity to pass up. I do enjoy a good glass of French wine. 